R.J. Davis off a couple screens. Manic left open. Carolina in front. Brady Manic's 59th three of the year. But Wes, that play was called to try to pick up a second on a Loomis. He's guarding Leaky Black early in this game. They want to be able to attack him off the bounce. Here's Murphy weaving through the baseline. Goes all the way around and scores. Mutt's doing the physical work while Murphy comes in and gets picked up the board. This is Storm Murphy, a pair of fives going on the baseline. Now a lean, leaning, and knocks it down. Virginia Tech's hit their last two after an 0-for-6 start. Well, the challenge for North Carolina is can they defend Virginia Tech on this floor? We know they'll be able to score. You're not concerned about that. A beautiful find from Leaky Black to Brady Manning for the layup. Uh, in the control room, they've told us that that has to do with offensive and defensive efficiency, which should have absolutely nothing to do with it. Right? Tour. And I've got more on that, but I'm going to wait until he makes his second one before we have that conversation. Bet you are. <laughs> Here's Manic turning and scoring in the mismatch against Murphy. Brady Manick's got all seven of Carolina's points. They got for Love, helping with the screen. Caleb a deep three and got it. Wow, 60 and three of the year for Caleb Love. Back for Padula on the drive, skips. Or Gassan passed on the three. And works around Baycott and scores. Couture trying to get to, to Gassan, who is crossing pass with Walton. Here is Maddox for three. Darius Maddox, a 51% three-point shoot. Couture for Gassan. Hit the deck. Carolina the rebound with Baycott. Manic a three. Got it. Two threes for Manic. He's the game's leading scorer with 10 of Carolina's 13. Padula on the drive, the scoop and score. And if you're Leaky Black on that possession, you can throw the ball in the backcourt. Throw it long enough to where only your player can get it in comparison to throwing it right into the hands of Aluma. Gasson, Aluma, layup good against Dontrez Styles, who's checked into the ball game. Walton, Love. Trying to go back to Manic. Here is Styles for three. Yes, Dontrez Styles, his second three of the year in 11. When it comes to games, impacting standings and potential postseason fates. It absolutely is that. Of course, late February is where things start to get crazy as Aloma goes off the bounce. Mutz who picked up the foul and Leaky Black took it away from him. Here's Caleb Love trying to get Carolina into transition. And right now, Baycott with Storm Murphy guarding him. And one for Leaky Black. Eileen redirects, blocked by Pop Johnson. And then Davis couldn't wrap it up. Mutz got through the lane and scored. Justin Mutz is Mr. Everything to this Hokies program. He's the reason why they're versatile. They're able to play in so many different ways it's because you've got a guy so versatile. And the driving score from Caleb Love. R.J. Davis through traffic high off the window, and it rolls in. Six-point lead for the Tar Heels, their largest. Here's Aileen Gasson baseline, knocked Baycott back and scores. Trying a little two-man game with Gasson. He'll roll all the way through, and Sean Padula's got four. Got it to Johnson. Shot clock at 10, working on Maddox. Caleb loves deep and good. North Carolina has quieted this rowdy Virginia Tech crowd with some hot shooting, and it continues. Caleb Love with another beautiful find to R.J. Davis. Tar Heel lead is ballooned to 10, primarily behind the work of Love and R.J. Davis. There's Mutz going through traffic, and he scores. Second field goal for Mutz. He's got four. Virginia Tech made only three field goals in the last six minutes of the opening frame. Baycott trying to get started. And there on cue is Armando Baycott. You talk about the switches, and that put a Luma on Baycott, and that's not the matchup that Mike Young wants in this game. He wants much guarding Baycott. A Luma open, three ball. They're number one in the ACC at 41.9%. And the Hokies averaging nine threes a game. Baycott another back down and turns with the right hand for his second field goal. Tar Heel lead back to nine. Ali, a little hesitation, and Baycott blocked that out of bounds. Love. Back down the lane and got the roll. Caleb Love with a dozen. Manic wanted the quick entry pass. 
Didn't have a window. Love a step back deep. Three is good. And building confidence, and all of a sudden, you see him start making step back threes, and Caleb Love's got it going. A lean on the drive and the foul. A lean and Murphy have gone to the bench. Padula handling the ball as well. Entry for Aluma against Baycock. Turns with a left hand, scores. Kevin Aluma moves into double feet. Mutz working down, Manic turns, right hand layup, good. And one on the foul by Manic. It'll be his second and six on Carolina tonight. Strong enough to play in the post, has the ball handling ability to get there, and just like that. Four to shoot, here's Love attacking on the dribble. All the way in, and Mutz slapped it off the glass. That's that one into the Virginia Tech bench. Three ball long off the hand of Couture. Rebounded by the Hokies, second chance. Padula drives in and gets the roll. Mutz. Eight point game, Aluma three. Here is Love. Rimmed off. Leaky Black, a rebound. Davis uncontested. Back rim miss. Baycott the rebound and the layup. That changed in the middle of this half. They weren't trapping at first as Couture lets one fly, unable to knock it down, but the offensive rebound goes in the favor of Virginia Tech. And Eileen knocks down the easy bucket. Here's Love, who was launching threes most of the day. Manic, Red catch, Baycott, layup, good. <laughs> Davis trying to beat Murphy. Beats Manic for the dunk. Crowd wanted to travel. Brady Mannix got a dozen. That's his first points of the second half. Inside the Baycott, who has been a steadying force in the paint. Couture. Ball away two is good. Hunter Couture has been five today. Example, you see how R.J. Davis has kept playing, doesn't look at the officials waiting on a call, and just like that, it's no call. In the corner, here's Leaky Black. Mannix at the foul line. Soft jumper good. <laughs> can't wait around here, can they? They cannot, especially when you talk about only having the 14 fouls. So the great floor game as well as shooting the basketball extremely well. Couture, Mutz on the drive, scores. Mike Young uses his last time out. Hokies need threes, Murphy will drive, and Aluma will follow on the dunk. No thank you. I know. No, no desire to be prolific in that. And as I say, there's smarter people in the room to help. Ali a three. Ali. Absolutely, a game that they needed. And Caleb Love, the interesting to see, is he going to go dunk this? I'm making sure, okay, thank you for not doing that, Caleb, as he's having a conversation with the castle guard dribbling down the floor to end this game.